All right, everybody, here we go. We're going to talk about the um, four different levels of evidence that we have um, that we're going to use for our um, levels. So level 1A, we've got two types of research studies that reach level 1. The first is a systematic review, and that systematic review can be with or without a meta-analysis. Right. Um, usually, if, if that word meta is in front of something, it just means, you know, beyond that thing, or in that case, like a doubling of it. So, meta linguistic skills is using language to talk about language. So, um, you know, if you can talk about nouns and verbs and rhyming and things like that, you're using language to talk about language. That's a metalinguistic skills. So a meta-analysis is an analysis of a bunch of analyses. So if you take nine papers that were previously published all on the same thing, the same topic, and you rerun all of their data together as one thing, as if it was one study, that's an, a, an analysis of analyses, right? That's a meta-analysis. So this is going to be aggregate results from several well-designed studies, and it helps to establish causality, which cannot be established with one study, right? So if I do a study here in Boone where I am looking at preschoolers who stutter, and it turns out that our therapy works really well, well, maybe that was the therapy that worked really well, or maybe the clinicians working with that therapy are really good and that almost any therapy would have worked. Maybe the clients were all super ready to change, um, so almost any therapy would have worked with them. Maybe the parents were super motivated and were doing extra work at home with the child. Right, so one study, you know, can show you know, that there's possibly a, a change and a difference here. We need multiple studies from multiple places all on the same topic to really show that, yes, it was the therapy and not just that one group of clients or one group of clinicians or, you know, something special about the, about the, uh, the clinic itself, right? So we need lots of studies. So it provides causality, and it provides an estimate of the effectiveness of a treatment. Again, effect size. So how large of an effect is there over multiple people? Um, and so it increases statistical power due to increased N. N in research talk is just number of participants. So anytime you see N, it's just number of participants. Um, and it also helps determine future research needs, right? So if you're doing a systematic review, right, you don't have to be doing a, a meta-analysis, but you're just looking at every single article that was published about a certain topic, right? Well, you know what's been done, and if you know everything that's been done, you then know what hasn't been done, and it helps determine what needs to be done. Um, good reviews should use really unbiased search and retrieval processes and logical guidelines for including and excluding studies in the analysis. So, um, and again, uh, a systematic review is a research study itself.